His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and wished him good health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness congratulating him on the occasion of Eid Al Adha and wished him good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with the GCC Arab and Islamic nations leaders on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty wished the leaders good health and happiness, many happy returns on the occasion, and further progress and prosperity to their countries and their peoples. The leaders also congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion, wishing him good health, happiness, and many happy returns, and wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Syrian President Dr. Bashar Al Assad. The two leaders exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples with further progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Iraqi President Dr. Abdul Latif Rashid. The two leaders exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples with further progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. They exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, with further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif. They exchanged congratulations and good wishes on the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples with further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal decree granting a special pardon and releasing of 545 inmates sentenced in various cases after they had served a period of their sentences issued against them. The royal pardon comes on the occasion of Eid Al Adha and based on His Majesty's keenness to provide those included in the pardon with the opportunity to integrate them into society and participate in the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King, which has achieved growth, progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged greetings with their Majesties, Highnesses and Excellencies, the leaders of the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries, Crown Princes and Heads of Government on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa performed Eid Al Adha prayers at Al Sakhir Palace Mosque. Their Highnesses, the sons of His Majesty the King, senior royal family members, ministers, Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, a number of ambassadors, senior officers from the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, the National Guard, Bahraini families, and worshippers also performed the prayers along with His Royal Highness.
الله أكبر 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 His Royal Highness and the attendees then listened to the sermon delivered by the Chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad al Hajri, in which he highlighted the values of Eid al Adha and the strong sense of community that is encouraged by Islam. Dr. al Hajri extended best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and His Royal Highness and wished them good health, happiness, and many happy returns, and wished Bahrain and its people further achievement, security, stability, and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. الحمد لله الحمد لله ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين عباد الله اتقوا الله واعلموا أن يومكم هذا يوم جليل وأن عيدكم هذا عيد فضيل ينبغي أن تتصالح فيه القلوب قبل أن تتصافح فيه الأكف وأن تتعانق فيه الأرواح قبل أن تتعانق فيه الأبدان ثم صلوا وسلموا رحمكم الله على من أمركم ربكم بالصلاة والسلام عليه فقال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأزواجه وذريته وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحب وترضى وخذ بناصيته للبر والتقوى اللهم ومتعه بالصحة والسلامة والعافية اللهم وفقه وولي عهده الأمين وانصر بهما دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم احفظ المسجد الأقصى من عدوان المعتدين ومن ظلم الظالمين المحتلين واجعله شامخا عزيزا إلى يوم الدين اللهم وكن لإخواننا المستضعفين في فلسطين وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين واحفظ مقدسات المسلمين من كيد الكائدين ومكر الماكرين وعدوان المعتدين اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولوالد والدينا ولجميع المسلمين اللهم وانصر جيشنا ورجال أمننا وحرسنا المرابطين في سبيلك على الثغور اللهم كن لهم معينا ونصيرا ومؤيدا وظهيرا اللهم وسلم الحجاج والمعتمرين واعنهم على أداء مناسكهم واغفر ذنبهم وآتهم سؤلهم واجعل حجهم مبرورا وسعيهم مشكورا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على عموم نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأقوال والأعمال وكل عام وأنتم بخير
His Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness also exchanged greetings with worshippers, thanking them for their kind wishes. His Royal Highness also congratulated the people of Bahrain on the occasion, wishing the kingdom, its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nation many progress, prosperity, and many happy returns. For their part, the attendees extended their best wishes to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, wishing them many happy returns, good health and happiness. They also wished His Royal Highness success in furthering the comprehensive development of the kingdom regionally and globally under the leadership of His Majesty the King.
The Speaker of the Representatives, Council Ahmed Lamsalam, affirmed that the royal pardon from His Majesty the King comes as a continuation of embodying the values of high tolerance and the approach of supporting family stability and providing the opportunity for the pardon to be integrated into society and participate in the comprehensive development process. He pointed out that the issuance of the royal decree for a special pardon and the release of 545 inmates convicted in various cases after they had served a period of their sentences issued against them and on the occasion of the Blessed Eid al-Adha will bring joy and happiness to the souls of their families and contribute to strengthening family cohesion. He expressed his deep appreciation for the continuing efforts made by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King in strengthening and consolidating the state of law, institutions and human rights according to a comprehensive and integrated system. The Speaker appreciated the efforts of civil society institutions, which support the promotion of human rights, culture and highlight the cultural achievement of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of human rights and the continuing success stories in light of the royal approach and the generous parental care of His Majesty for all His people. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, affirmed that the continuous initiatives of His Majesty the King by issuing royal decrees of special pardons and releasing inmate sentence in various cases is a realistic embodiment of the principles and the human and civilizational values emanating from the noble royal keenness in a way that pushes the kingdom towards greater stability and prosperity in all fields. He praised a generous humanitarian gesture of His Majesty the King, which was manifested in granting a special pardon to 545 inmates sentence in various cases cases after they had served a period of their sentences issued against them. He highly appreciated the noble initiatives of His Majesty, which coincided with the occasion of Eid al-Adha, which reflects his keenness to provide those included in the pardon with the opportunity to integrate them into society and participate in the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. A number of families and pardoned affirmed this after serving a period of sentences issued against them who were included in the special royal pardon, emphasized the keenness of His Majesty the King to bringing joy and happiness to their souls and give their families the opportunity to contribute to building the society. The royal pardon comes on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, based on His Majesty's keenness provide, to provide those included in the pardon with the opportunity to integrate into society and participate in the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, accompanied by the permanent representative of Bahrain to the UN Ambassador Abdullah Abdul Latif Abdullah, participated in the Ukraine Peace Summit organized by the Swiss Confederation with the participation of a number of country leaders, governments, foreign ministers, as well as the UN and concerned organizations. Crowds of worshippers performed the Blessed Eid al-Adha prayer in various governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain in commemoration of the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. More on this report. Huge crowds perform Eid al-Adha prayers in public prayer halls across the governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain and repeating, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. The worshippers commemorate the first day of the Blessed Eid al-Adha standing together side by side, praying to Allah the Almighty to grant them blessings and mercy. Worshippers flocked from the early hours of the morning to these halls, a place that brought together adults and children, to commemorate the Sunnah of the Eid, as it is an annual tradition and a social custom that brings together all segments of society. This joyful scene of faith embodies social and family cohesion in the society, 
as everyone meet to congratulate one another, praying to Allah the Almighty for many happy returns and wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further security and prosperity. The Ministry of Interior, through its various departments, is making unremitting efforts to ensure the security and safety of citizens, residents and visitors during Eid al-Adha by taking many preventive security measures and arrangements. <laughs> The Ministry of Interior and its various departments is making all necessary preparations to ensure the safety of citizens, residents and visitors during Eid al-Adha holiday by implementing a number of security measures and plans represented by the police directorates and the four governorates and the community service police. The General Traffic Department is also working to raise the level of preparedness during holidays and events with a rapid response time for any accidents or requests for assistance with the highest levels of efficiency and professionalism. In turn, the General Administration of Civil Defense worked to put in place the necessary security arrangements to ensure rapid response in the event of receiving any reports, accessing them and dealing with them immediately in a way that ensures the protection of lives and property. These security efforts and plans aim to preserve the safety of everyone throughout the year, including occasions and holidays that require integrated security performance around the clock. Coinciding with the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne and the Blessed Eid al-Adha, the main buildings and landmarks of the kingdom and various governorates were decorated with the image of His Majesty and the Silver Jubilee logo. A number of major buildings were also decorated in red and white to celebrate these two occasions. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced the schedule of activities and events that will be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain during Eid al-Adha. More in this report. Various events are held by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority within a schedule that includes the favorite tourist destination in the Kingdom of Bahrain with a diversity that satisfies all tastes and ages, which comes as part of the celebration of Manama's selection as the capital of Gulf tourism for the year 2024. The events are expected to attract large numbers of citizens, residents and visitors. The events include various entertainment packages, including commercial malls and Exhibition World Bahrain, in addition to marine events on the Kingdom's beaches, where events come in a variety of locations, in effective partnership with the private tourism sector, including hotels, resorts, commercial complexes, restaurants and various tourist sites. The events can be followed through the schedule available on the Bahrain Events website calendar.bh, which contains all the details for each event, including its date and location, so that everyone can enjoy visiting the events at the appropriate times. All activities will start from the first day of Eid al-Adha in seven different locations in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The benefit pay application has succeeded in providing an integrated package of electronic financial transfer services and payment solutions in one platform for completing various financial transactions. The application witnesses a remarkable activity from citizens and residents who benefit from its services to provide idea. The digital electronic aid has become an integral part and a beautiful habit that has a large share in making others happy and putting a smile on their faces.